Hello all. Jono here, just checking in. So first day of tasting done today. Um, after I last checked in in the Loire Valley River, uh, when I was um, cooling off after a, a muggy walk, um, that night headed to the restaurant in the hotel, had a beautiful meal, then the next day headed down to uh, Pornichet. So on the coast, about, about an hour west of Nantes, um, had a bucket load of beautiful seafood. Very relaxing afternoon, so we got a bit of work done. Then this morning, um, visited our two Muscadet producers. So at 9am, visited uh, to my Michel Bedouin, which is our sort of classic interpretation of uh, Melon de Bourgogne from uh, Muscadet de Vermand. Then we visit, visited um, Complementaire, so the son and his wife of uh, Domaine Landron. Um, they do 50 hectares of uh, biodynamic um, melon de Bourgogne, which is a very large uh, vineyard area for uh, biodynamics. Um, their expression is a little bit more wild, but still absolutely beautiful, particularly the La Croix Morisot. Um, their workhorse, which is beautiful. And then a couple of hours of driving to um, Pascal Jeanvier uh, in Gesnière, which is um, the northern limits of uh, the Loire. Um, 200 hectare uh, AOC, which is really quite small, and he's got 13 of them. Um, so dry Chenin Blanc, which is actually what I'm drinking right now and beautiful and remarkably cheap. So uh, you can expect them uh, early next year, without a doubt. Um, a very funny guy, I got put onto him from Chris Santini of Santini Frere uh, in Osso Duress. He heads up uh, the Kermit Lynch office. He, he, he warned me that there'll be some communication troubles uh, and there certainly was. He writes in French phonetically let alone communicating with an Australian. Um, so he had to get his mother involved, who knew six words more than him, which is six words. Um, and uh, no, it was very funny. He gave me a box of wine to last the trip, which is nice. And um, then uh, staying in a little town, Chantreuil, um, which is just an hour south, a little bit closer to where we've got to go tomorrow. Um, Looking around for a restaurant, found a beautiful restaurant. Uh, but sure enough, it was full. And by this stage, I needed a beer and some food. So I found a little supermarket. Um, you know, expectations not too high, but it was perfect. It had beautiful baguettes, a little bit of goat's cheese, local, and some nice fatty sauces on. Um, I finished half of the baguette and half of the sauces on before I even got back to the uh, jit. Um, and then I've got uh, veg and snags for dinner, which I'm just going to cook up here. So a bit of a change, a bit nice. So anyway, uh, all the best. I think that's everything. Um, I will chuck some photos up on the email, but uh, day one done and dusted, and um, don't feel sorry for me. But uh, a long day. Cheers. Bye.